What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having an awesome day today. So check this out. So today I'm actually working on this bike rack. Um, I want to get it painted all back black and see like this. I got a new sticker coming in. So I'm just going to sand all of this down, pull it all apart and see if I can't just get it back to being original back black and get it tossed back on the car so i got my sander i'm just going to sand this down get it painted back black and get it back in the, on top of the car so i practically practically got everything taped off uh the signs on both sides and the ones at the bottom and i'm just going to spray paint all that black i'm just going to sand all of this down too and just that way i can sand it all black i mean that way i can paint it all black Don't know how it's supposed to be But I can feel you turn me around If love can go sideways Look back at me And I won't let you down Now that's all cleaned out that side on that wall too so now that is all clean and let me go check on the bike rack now all right so i got the bike rack back on top now and <clears throat> i did try and preserve that sticker so yeah now we're just waiting on the other original sticker to come in the mail and then we could put that one back on top and then we should be good to go but today we actually need to fix the rest of the suspension on this car. I had started the Max Peating Rods coilovers on this. Um, the reason why I didn't finish them, I actually got them on the rear. The rear are finished. The reason why I didn't get them on the front is because of the broken uh, sway bar link bolt that I needed to grind off. And I have a grinder now for that and just bought a grinding wheel. bought a grinding wheel and a couple more grinding wheels and a new grinder so hopefully that will help me get that out of there and then I actually did go ahead and order the super pro uh, sway bar links that is the part number right there so just in case anybody else wants those or needs a pair of sway bar links uh, this is how they look I was going to go with the white head I think they were they was just like a couple bucks uh, more than this uh, but the guy at Eurotuning had went on and recommended these ones so I went with the Super Pro Super Pro track and there is the part number and it also came with the new uh, bushings too so there's the part number for that So I'm just going to go ahead and cut the old ones out, try and match these to that, and get the rest of the suspension in. So that is today's goal. And that is the old sway bar link right here. And on the other side it has those alley keys and they were pretty broke right there. So I couldn't, I was just twisting in and couldn't get it out. So I just decided to go ahead and cut it out and let that be that so so it's like a tad bit shorter so this is my first time doing sway bar links so well yeah so, but i'm just going to try my best and go ahead and match it with this one right here and we're just going to put it in here If it wants to thread so 
So yeah, after it threads in, we're just gonna, I kinda got it to match the link that the, my original sway bar is. So I would have the pretty much original um, sway bar travel length. So that's perfect there. So now I just need to go ahead and cut those out. Hey, shout out right quick to my mom for the safety goggles. Yeah, that was a blessing. Thank you very much. And just like that, I just went on ahead and cut it right there. So now when I take the um, holes, the whole strut out, uh, that part should come out and then I will only have to cut that part out right there. So not too shabby. Now to get the suspension out, I think there's one alley key right there and that should release that and then this pulls right out. Okay, so I had to cut the whole strut out, well half of the strut out because yeah, God knows, but I might have busted an axle on top of it. I might could just slide it back in there and be all fine and put a new boot on top of it because and make some crease, but I don't think that's the mom with the axle. Um, but this part right here was so jammed in there. I have no idea what the person did before me, but I had to cut the whole thing and then, I don't know, pry it out kind of like I am now. And then, yeah. So that was the work for that, but it's out of there now. And I hope the other side isn't nearly as bad. And here we have the new Max Peating Rod and it all up. <clears throat> and then from Euro Tuning, I ordered the brand new top cap. It already came with a nut. I ordered the brand new top cap and the, the little bearing right there so i already have that brand new so i just need to put that on there get that shoved in and get the new um sway bar link in there and we should be good to go so just like that we got it tightened down the new we have it tightened down i just tighten it down got the top cap on it the bushings on it and I didn't max it all the way out, but there's a couple threads in between that just before I can go back and adjust it when I want to. And just like that, got the suspension in up top and the new sway bar links in. And I actually got the axle back in there. I'm going to play around with the axle. I'm probably just going to get a whole new axle, but I just wanted to get it back in there and yeah, see what I got going on. Alright, so it's the next day. Um... So the problem I had yesterday was with these three top, these three nuts at the top right here, these three bolts right here at the top. Um, so, pretty much this is what had happened. With the new strut tops, uh, they come with the nut already in them. So the nut, when I put the nut in to screw it down, this uh, came out and i was just sitting there just stuck spinning it when i took the car for a drive it seemed really really clunky so yeah these right here pop out so i had to go down from the bottom kind of put something in there and tighten it up but that was my only really issue uh when putting those in but that was more of an issue with the top strut cap but other than that the dampening is down it is tightened um, everything is in and tightened down and we're good to go far as this cap right here goes it is all the way through you can see right there that there's part of it and there's the other part of it right there and the strut itself is pretty much all the way in there so yeah hopefully that clunkiness uh, does go away if there is any clunkiness now I think it might be uh, right here where the um, spring sits on top of the coil i feel like there's supposed to be like some type of bushing on top of there but nothing no bushing or anything came so that is my only concern right there and if i turn it the other way upside down it's, it doesn't work so this is the way that it goes in so yeah 
me. So I just had to take it for a ride right quick. But I don't know. It seems to be a, a lot better. I think I scrub a little bit more, so I might lift it up um, a bit. But uh far as the suspension goes though, I mean, I think it's better. It's definitely not as as uh, as bouncy of a ride as it was before. Uh, before it was mad bouncy, but now it's just, it sounds rough, I guess. So like you hit a rough, I mean like if you hit a bump, um, it just sounds really, really rough. But it doesn't drive rough. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Um, so I guess I'm happy with how it came out. Can't complain. I see if I can break it in a bit. I don't know, maybe still just cause it's new suspension. But yeah. All right, it comes on hump now. Yeah, it's, this is perfect. I just when I hit the hump, it just sounds so rough, and I guess that's what 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 sucks most of all is how it feels when it hits the bump. But if I take my time and go over the bump, I guess I'll be okay. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But everything is tightened up and whatnot. I do have a smoother ride though, I tell you that much. Yeah, it just sounds a bit rough, I guess. That's the most part about it. I don't like the way it sounds. I wish I didn't hear the suspension. turns so much better though it turns better it handles better all in all it's better I just don't like the sound the sound is what really kills me so yeah that's my that's my two cents all in all though I think it does ride really good I'm gonna go take it back home and play around with the suspension a little bit and see maybe if I left something loose or something needs to be tightened up a bit but yeah, uh, the Jetta is coming along really good. The Mark V. Drop a comment down below and let me know. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Uh, I got the bike rack on it. We're still waiting on a couple stickers to come in for the bike rack. Uh, the emblems, it, the emblem is on it now. Um, the suspension is on it. So now we just need some rims, and she'll be in there. But this might be it for this video. I guess uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, check this out. We managed to find, we're not finished with the uh, lights at the bottom though, but we did manage to find these VW cup holders of cup sit thingy majiggies, but they're so cool. So yeah. <laughs> I still have a couple more things to do this, like I need to jump under the hood and mess with the coolant stuff. But that is gonna be it for today. I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Remember guys, have an awesome day.